Hi, I'm State Representative Roger Goodman, representing the 45th Legislative District, which is in the northeast corner of King County, including the cities of Duval and Woodenville, and the northern parts of Sammamish, Redmond, and Kirkland. First of all, I want to say it is truly an honor and a privilege to serve here in the legislature, and I want to thank you for the opportunity. So, the 2013 legislative session is more than half over now, and the House has voted off quite a number of bills over to the Senate and vice versa. So we are now in our committees again, dealing with the bills from the opposite chambers on a wide variety of topics. I have gotten 12 bills out of the House so far on a number of different topics, including helping homeowners clear title after they sell their homes, helping veterans with child support payments, a bill that cracks down on metal theft. We have a lot of uh, people stealing copper wires and uh, really disrupting public service and the public order. But most of all, and as chairman of the Public Safety Committee in the House, I'm concerned about crimes against women. I have a bill that would punish stalkers, another bill that would increase penalties for sexual assault, but particularly I'm concerned about victims and survivors of domestic violence. I did get a bill off the House floor, House Bill 1840, that has to do with firearms and victims of domestic violence. Under state law, it is still possible for a perpetrator of domestic violence to keep his firearms, and I think that is uh, unacceptable. So a woman who is a victim and survivor of domestic violence still is in fear for her life, even if she can get a court to issue a protection order to keep the perpetrator away. Federal law already prohibits uh, perpetrators of domestic violence from keeping their firearms, but state law does not. And so my legislation would harmonize state and federal law in this way. The bill was voted off the floor of the House and is in the Senate now, but we still have a way to go. And I just want to make sure that this very dangerous window between when a protection order uh, is issued by a court telling the perpetrator to stay away from the victim and the time of conviction of the offense, uh, that could be a particularly explosive time which we don't want to become lethal uh, with firearms in the hands of the perpetrator. So that's going to be my top priority, but we're also going to be focusing on the budget. The budget is really what we are here to accomplish, and it has to do with education in particular and also transportation. But on education, we have to fund our public schools. The state Supreme Court has told us we are not adequately funding our K-12 through system, and we're going to be struggling to find the necessary funding for that. And I hope that we'll be able to get out of Olympia here on time, but maybe not, because we have a lot of disagreement about where the necessary funding will come from uh, and what it'll pay for as well, whether we uh, need more reforms of our school system before we fund it any further. I'll be participating in those discussions. I'm most concerned with getting kids ready for school, uh, so the early learning or the preschool, uh, and also uh, what kids uh, need after they graduate, particularly career and technical education, getting a skill which is required for most of the jobs available in the labor market today. So at this particular point in the legislative session, as we engage in those budget discussions and debate our final uh, resolution of the bills, it's really important that you contact me because otherwise I'm sort of stuck in a bubble here in Olympia and I need to hear from you about what your priorities are. There are a, a number of different ways you can contact me. You can send me an email, but bear in mind that I receive about 15,000 emails a year and it's difficult to uh, give a substantive response to that. So a phone call is always welcome and I will call you back. Uh, and a personal visit, I know that's quite a sacrifice to come down to Olympia, uh, but that really makes a difference to get some face time with me so that you can put an issue that's important to you on my radar screen, so to speak. Uh, so consider visiting, and I'll show you around, too. Uh, maybe bring you onto the House floor uh, and give you a tour of uh, the, how it really works around here. So thank you very much again for the opportunity to serve. I'll be back uh, again with another update pretty soon.